There are probably thousands of Android widgets out there, and in this video, I'm gonna show you the best ones made by Google specifically. I'm also gonna show you what they do, give you some tips to make sure you get the most out of them, and hopefully by the end, you'll know which one of these Google-made widgets is best for your Android home screen. So, without wasting any more time, let's take a quick look. I'm going to show you my favorite ones first, starting with the at a glance widget for all Android devices, and you can find this under the Google search section for widgets. Recently, I got a Material U visual overhaul that has yet to push its way to any of my devices, by the way, but the functionality should be the exact same. The at a glance widget gives you information like the date and weather, but can also give you Google Calendar updates or flight departure times. Tapping on the date itself will bring you to the Google Calendar app, and tapping on the weather will bring you to Google's well-designed custom weather interface, where you can see an hourly breakdown or even a 10-day forecast if you need it. So if you don't have a Pixel device but still like this aspect of the experience, at a glance widget is a great option for those that are looking for it. Google Keep has a ton of great widget options that you should know about as well. I'm a bit biased because I use Google Keep on a daily basis as my sole note-taking app, but I love the widget selection here. In total, we have three widgets to pick from, you can pin an individual note with one widget, pin a list of all your notes with the other, or you can add a quick capture widget that allows you to quickly create a checklist, a drawing, a voice memo, take a photo, or a new default note all within one singular tap. Google Keep widgets are also complete with material you theming to match your wallpaper color, multiple size options to get the perfect fit, and is overall a great option for any Android home screen. If you're like me, then you probably use the YouTube Music app every single day, and in my opinion, some of the most underrated widgets can be found here. I know this is more on the YouTube side of things instead of the Google side, but I still felt that this was useful information to mention anyways. YouTube Music provides you with three beautiful music widgets, such as a recently played that shows you the last few albums that you've listened to, a now playing widget with some basic music controls, and my personal favorite, which is the recently played turntable style widget that just looks so good on any Android home screen. I like the full album art view, I like the quirky circular design, and I like the minimal look as well. There's a few variations of these widgets depending on the size you pick, with some simplifying the layout or others adding more tidbits of information. Overall, YouTube Music has some great widgets, and if you're using it often like I am, you need to check some of these out. Moving on, we have the official Google News widgets. Google News has been around for quite some time now and basically gives you a curated feed for the news. Not to mention, it's a great way to stay in the know if you care about that kind of stuff. For widget options, we get a small 2x2 quick view card for single pieces of news. We also have a 4x2 option as well, which shows thumbnails and has a scrolling feed to show you multiple news headlines at once. Tapping on the widget itself will open straight into the app, or tapping on the headline will directly open straight into the article. Same as some other widgets on this list, we do have material you theming, a wide variety of size options, and ultimately is a great choice for a simple news widget. Speaking of simple widgets, another one that we have to talk about is the battery info widget. If you have multiple Bluetooth items to keep track of, then this should be perfect for you. By default, the widget has a 4x2 layout with multiple resize options available. As a whole, this widget does allow you to see a snapshot of all your Bluetooth items connected at the same time. So in this example, I can see the battery of my Pixel Watch, my Pixel Buds Pro, and my Pixel device itself. If you have non-Pixel peripherals, they show in the widget as well, which is pretty great, and overall, I find this to be perfect for those with many Bluetooth devices to keep track of. Another widget great for keeping track of things is Google Calendar. This is a classic Android staple, so I'm sure you know all about it. It comes in a 2x3 version for a preview of the upcoming days and a 4x4 version to give you a snapshot for the entire month. Interestingly enough, in August, we got a Material U redesign with dynamic color theming, so now it's in line with the other Google widgets we've talked about, at least from a design perspective. Google Photos is also a massively popular widget you should be using, if not already. If you use Google Photos like me, then you should notice two options for widgets, one being a frame with random photos alternating throughout the day, and the other is for a specific person or pet. Additionally, you have a handful of material use style shapes to choose from for the frame, and a wide variety of size options in general. By default, these widgets come in a 2x2 format, but you can resize it to basically anything you want. 
So these are the biggest widgets that I can wholeheartedly recommend, but there are many more lesser known widgets that are still really good and you might want to stick around to see if these can fit on your home screen as well. For keeping track of your usage throughout the day, digital well-being is a Google widget I don't see nearly talked about enough. This was added with the implementation of digital well-being in Android 12, I believe, and comes in a 2x2 or 3x3 format with the added function of being able to see your top apps being used and how long they've been in use for. Like many on this list, we have a nice material you theme going on here, not to mention tapping on the widget itself will bring you right to the digital well-being dashboard. An interesting find under the Google section is the stocks widget. With this widget, you can set up a watch list to keep track of specific stocks, whether it's for staying in the know or anxiously waiting to see if you're losing money or not. At the same time, we also get a nice material you design with the ability to tap on a specific stock to see the daily, monthly, or weekly reports. This widget by default is built with a 4x2 layout in mind, but you do have a resizing option for any grid size you prefer. Normally, I don't look at stocks too often, but if I did, this would be a nice widget to have on my home screen. If you have a foldable, I don't think your home screen is complete without the Google Play Books widget. It doesn't do much besides serve as a clean, material use style interface to see the ebooks you have on hand. There aren't many variations to pick from. By default, it's displayed in a 4x2 grid size and it maxes out at 4x3. Tapping on the title themselves will bring you to the last page you are reading and you can pick up right where you left off. And as a quick tip, there is a second widget shortcut you can add to your home screen as well that will allow you to pin a specific book for quick access. If you do have a foldable, definitely check this out because this will add quite a bit of utility to the large screen experience. Google Weather is a huge widget that is really easy to get value from. Unfortunately, it seems to be a Pixel exclusive, so just keep that in mind. But overall, you have a simple material use style weather widget with a decent amount of variety. There's a 3x2 version that can squish down into a little chip to show the current temperature and a 4x2 version that can be sized up to show a snapshot of the next few days or sized down to show the highs and the lows for the day. Tapping on the widget simply brings you to the dedicated weather app and in general I find it fits perfectly with any pixel home screen aesthetic. Finally, the last and major widget you should have on your home screen is the YouTube widget. I find some frustrations to share with this, but to tell you the benefits first, you get two options for the YouTube widget. One being a 4x1 search bar and the other being a 4x2 search bar with quick access to your home, shorts, and subscription feeds. These are fine, but if anyone from YouTube or Google is listening, can we please get an upgrade for these widgets? The ones we have are fine, don't get me wrong, but I think it would be really awesome to have a widget that gives me an actual preview of my feed or shows me the top five most recently uploaded videos or just something in addition to the options we already have because I think a lot of users would enjoy a widget like that. And guys, that's pretty much everything in terms of the best Google made widgets out there. If you're an Android enthusiast like me, I hope you found this video helpful and I'm sure I missed a few out there. So if there's any super useful Google widgets not included in this list, please leave a comment so that the other Android enthusiasts here can take advantage of them. Otherwise, guys, I'm getting out of here so I can work on the next video. This has been Jordan Floyd from 9to5Google. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.